Hello and welcome. The question is, what is an algorithm? So an algorithm is a finite set of instructions if followed, solve a well-defined computational problem. So an algorithm is a finite set of instructions and that solves a well-defined problem. Now let's take an example uh, to write an algorithm on adding two numbers. So first step will be read the number and store it in variable A. Second will be read the number and store it in variable B. And third step will be perform addition on values of variable and output it in a new variable c so we can say that c equals to a plus b we are performing addition of the previous uh, values that we have obtained by reading now the fourth step will be print print what print the c that will be the output and the fifth step will be store we can just say so so this is an algorithm for adding two numbers so you can say uh, that this is finite set of instruction and it is solving a well-defined problem which is uh, to add the two numbers. Now what we can say is algorithms are the ideas behind computer program, right? Because we have an idea of adding two numbers uh, where we are adding uh, a simple, because this is a very simple operation, we are adding uh, the two numbers and storing it in new variable and then printing it. So it is kind of idea. Before uh, solving any problem, we should have idea to solve it and uh, give some output okay. now uh, let's come to the characteristics of the good algorithm now you will be amazed to look a simple problem which is robot to to optimization problem taken from the famous book let's say we have different points and uh, we want to take a cyclic tour we want to start from some point and then we want to return it return to the same point again let's say i started from here and then traversing through all of the point we returned here so in this case we have taken the tour of all the points and we have returned okay so this might be uh, not the best but maybe this can be good or maybe someone other and we have to find the best tool maybe this mo uh, this will not work if then we can go like this so there are many tools possible and we have to find a, a way an algorithm we have to find so that the tour is always of shortest path this is very important the tour should be of shortest path okay so this is kind of like you can think about soldering wire problem where we want to solder these points and a robot arm is mov moving to solder this and robot is very costly and you want to minimize the cost as much as possible by using the robot as much less time as possible okay so we have to find the shortest cycle now one of the way uh, for this shortest path problem of robot optimization uh, to reach first select any point let's say this okay so for all of these points first select any point okay and then and then mark that point by p naught and now you have to find the closest point to p naught okay maybe this this or this so for me the closest is this one so it will go to this okay now this will be p1 okay and now p1 will again uh, find its closest okay so I think this then this point from this we will again uh, take the closest of this point maybe this and in this way we will uh, we can cover every point I'm um, now the closest again maybe this and in this way this then closest will be this then closest will be this then closest will be this and the closest will be this and in the end we have to return to the previous point so go back to P P naught that's it now these are the intermediate point which are p2 p3 and so on okay now you have the complete tour that a robot will you know cycle around this and this is uh, we, we say the closest point uh, algorithm where we are uh, marking a point p0 and then finding the closest every time for the p0 point okay so we can write it like this pick and widget any uh, initial point p0 from the p then set the po point p h p naught for i equal to 0 what we are doing is this is an algorithm that you have to write every time okay so we are taking uh, taking this point as p naught then we, uh, we are saying that uh, while there are still unvisited point because they these are all unvisited point at this time we have to increase the i and now the i will be 1 because this is 0 at this time so i will be 1 and closest unvisited point will be uh, because these are kind of closest will be this so this will be p of i and i is 1 so this will be p1 we have traced like this then again we have to visit the pi because we have visited the pi that is p1 now again while there are unvisited point because these are all unvisited right now so it will again look by increasing the i we will again look the point now this will be p2 okay 
then it will visit the p2 then it will again check if there are unvisited points or not this will be closest so it will be p3 because we are every time incrementing the i we are when we are returning to the loop okay in in this way it will look for the shortest path okay now think for a moment is this every time correct algorithm take a moment pause the video and think whether this algorithm work every time or not okay so now i think you have thought of some you know contradictions so let's take an instance of uh, to solve this problem okay by using this algorithm that is nearest neighbor let's say these are the point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 coordinates of every point with them now let's say our uh, robot start with this point okay the zero then what it will do is it will look the closest of zero now there is kind of tie between these two points so let's say it jump to here okay now at minus one there are uh, now it will again look for the closest so uh, from minus one this is four step and this point this is one this is two steps so the closest will be this point so it will go here now at this point one it will again uh, try to find out the closest and the closest will be because this is uh, two step ahead and this is more so it will go to this and at three it will uh, search for the closest and then it will go to five and at five it will go to again the closest the, this is not closest 21 is not closest as closest to 11 okay so it will jump to 11 and in this case it will again come to 21 this is kind of zigzag motion occurring in this set of positions of the points so do you think that this is the minimum possible path to cover these points think about it because we have used this algorithm on these points okay now pause the video and think what are uh, uh, is there any be better way to traverse this path uh, instead of this algorithm if i move directly in this line then the points can be covered okay this is good because if i move in this uh, straight line uh, if the robot move in just single horizontal line the every point will be covered and the distance will be very minimal as compared to this distance okay because as, uh, if you add the distances this is one okay plus then this distance will be two plus then this distance will be uh, one plus five that is six plus then this distance will be uh, 5 plus 11 which is 16 then this distance will be 11 plus 21 which will eventually become 11 plus 21 that is 32 okay so in this way you can see uh, you can see that that di uh, the distance is much more if we see in this case which is simply uh, 11 plus 21 because you have to move the robot have to move 11 plus 21 in this straight path okay so this is much uh, lesser as compared to this distance yeah one more thing one more thing is you can say that uh, uh, because you have chosen zero then this problem is occurring instead choose the this point and then add uh, instead choose this point at the beginning point and then the points will be much easier to cover yeah you can say so but what if the uh, problems had become horizontal okay in this case if the problems had become horizontal then again the zigzag motion will occur so or if you displace this point by a little uh, extra space then again this type of zigzag motion will occur okay so you can't say that just because the because we are beginning from zero uh, this type of situation is occurring now the question is how we can solve this problem so in the robot tour optimization let's take the algorithm 2 so algorithm 2 will be instead of taking the closest point that we are taking in beginning just take the pair of the points okay now we are solving this algorithm 2 or we are checking the algorithm 2 of the program so what we can do is we can instead of taking the closest point we can take the two closest pairs okay like this two then these two and then these two so this problem might get solved for this instance but it can again if the points are arranged in such a way that uh, this is kind of this thing that the points are here and this distance is 1 minus e and this distance is 1 plus e okay so if uh, because this distance is shorter as compared to this distance so the uh, robot will traverse these two points first then it will traverse these two points okay then it will traverse because this is 1 minus e and this is 1 plus e okay so this will travel every this distance is 1 minus e so because this is 1 minus e it will again go to here then because this distance is 1 plus e and this is much more longer so it will go to here and in the end it will go to here as you can see here 
okay and and then it at the end it have to start uh, it have to return back at the start position so it will go like this so uh, this is for the closest point pair closest pair okay uh, do you think this is uh, every time the best way uh, yeah this closest pair algorithm was working in this case but uh, instead of moving like this you can move simply this and then traversing here and here so this path is much shorter than this path and around 20 percent shorter if you calculate mathematically because this will be 1 minus e then 1 plus e 4 times and 1 minus e 2 times so this is 4 times of uh, 1 plus e and plus one, uh, 2 times of 1 minus e as compared to this this will be a little longer and longer by 20 percent so even the closest pair is failing so now we know the various difficulties in designing algorithm and now you have the basic idea of what an algorithm actually is okay so algorithm is not every time uh, this simple so we have to think about various ways like the this pick and uh, widget the uh, nearest neighbor algorithm was not working every time as we have seen in this context of you know set of inputs so the characteristics of the good algorithm are these five uh, should be there that is it should be finite what what we mean by the finite is the algorithm must be terminated after a finite number of steps that's it definiteness uh, definiteness means the steps of the algorithm are precisely defined and um, they should be you know well and definite that's it effectiveness means that operations of the algorithm should be basic enough so that it can be traced with paper and pencil so the whole algorithm should be made up of basic operations generality means that the algorithm must be generic enough to solve all the problems of that particular type okay if i'm uh, making a sorting problem then for every given instance one two three or a b c it should sort okay uh, you can say that uh, it will not sort the numbers arranged in some irregular fashion it should it should sort every time uh, if the given data is given so generality means algorithm must be generic enough to solve all problems of a particular class now the input and output means every algorithm should contain at least uh, one output okay at least one output and inputs may be zero or more that's it so these are the five uh, algorithm so de finiteness definiteness effectiveness generality and input and output you can say the correctness that we have seen that um, every time the algorithm was not returning the correctness okay so this might be a good characteristic the good algorithm this is all for this video and in the next video we will look about how to analyze that this algorithm is fast or uh, this closest pair algorithm is fast okay thank you so much